understood why if you minus all of the numbers on a clock it adds up to six well here's why six is the number of time space and matter it represents the three-dimensional material world up down left right backwards and forward it's a six-sided cube 60 minutes in an hour 60 seconds in a minute 24 hours in a day two plus four equals six that's six 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 in total this is why you see black cubes everywhere you go or the nintendo gamecube jesus cross is a cube unfolded jews wear a cube on top of their heads and there's a reason why we say think outside the box this is where it gets a bit crazy six 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 is the exact same structure of carbon and your body's made out of carbon the body is the mark of the beast the mark of this three-dimensional material world when the bible says satan who's the god of this world it represents saturn which is the god of time everything dies in time therefore time is the god of this world it rules this world everything physical began as a thought in the mind the physical world is a shadow or an effect of thought therefore your physical body is stuck in time but your mind is outside of time this is why your mind can go in the past and the future but your body cannot thinking outside the box is a term referring to thinking outside of the physical plane which is activating the light bodies the eternal self also known as astral projection what i'm saying is your body is nothing you are not your body you are the eternal consciousness which is not bound by the physical plane you just have to awaken these other bodies yes here we go now people and this is why i laugh when people be talking about a war in the heavens the heavens is in your mind your consciousness your brain that's it there that's where the war is at and here we go the magnetos pause over the last 24 hours so right now it's seven it's 708 a.m eastern standard time on this gregorian calendar august the 5th over here on the east coast and i'm recording this this morning so this time right now going backwards this is what's happening with your with the sun and the planet this is what's happening right now with the sun and look at this right here look at the impact that is taking place look at your look at your dome look at what just <laughs> look, look at your dome look at what just took place huh and you don't think this right here is allowing immense amount of radiation inside of the planet i mean overloading radiation is in this planet you think you're not absorbing this this is right in your face right here August the 5th, going backwards, 2024 on this Gregorian calendar. Let's just take a look at everything, my people, together. This is the Magneto's Pulse, and the Magneto's Pulse is what monitors the dome that supposedly protects us from harmful solar radiation that stretch from the North Pole to the South Pole. And look at what happened to that dome. Look at what happened to that dome. Look at what happened, and then all the radiation all the look at the blast look at all people that don't know by now you already know what they're going to do everything seems to mess up when i'm doing this but look at this just look at your dome look at your planet earth is here in the middle look at all of this radiation right here right above your head and your troposphere right above your head the stratosphere all of this is right above your head. Look at all this energy and look at how the dome squeezed all the way down. It literally was removed in the north. The dome looked like it was literally removed in the north. Look, look at that. Look how, oh my good, whoa, wow. Look at that, hmm. And you think this doesn't have residual effects? This is breaking down. I know this is great to take place, baby. It's it's get, something great happened. Let's go look. Let's just look at the last. Let's look at the last three hours, people. Let's just look at the last three hours. Hold on. Y'all watching me do this right here. Let me hit apply. Let's look at the last three hours. Mm. Let's just look at that. Wow. Wow. Mm-hmm. The sun is separating us. It's nothing you can do about it. You must have the blood of the sun and the awareness of the cosmos. Your genetics must match the cosmos. Point blank and simple. It's only one true blood and that's sun blood. Let's move up here to solar wind. Let's move up to solar wind. Excuse me, I apologize. I should have been set this one up because I, I noticed when they record, when they reset this thing, I, already, I, I was looking at it already. Let's go up to solar wind. Apply. Let's see how fast solar wind is popping. 
Let's go over here. Solar wind. 995 kilometers per second. That shit just went up to 995 kilometers per second. Let's look at that again. Wow. 995 kilometers per second. And in this graph, the dome is pretty much removed. I told you this dome was gone. Look, that's gone. That that's gone. That look, that was that was gone. I mean, the, that's just barely <laughs> that's gone. Wow. That's gone. Literally. And this here is, oh my gosh, this is dangerous. Let me, let me tell you why this is dangerous, my people. And I just want y'all to know something. As I stated to you before, their backs are being backed up against the wall with so much stuff, with, with, with so much of their history coming to light and their existence for, for one, their, how they came into existence. All of this is coming to light and it's nothing that they can do about it. But this right here will show that I, I let you know that this is where the foolishness will pop off. They have to get the planet in position to welcome their creator. And you look at the solar wind. If you look at the energy, I mean, it is coming from this side. I mean, you are getting hit. But here on the back side of the planet. And this is why no one used this instrument, because this here is very telling. It is very telling. This is disturbing to the psyche. This is disturbing to the lie. This is very disturbing to the lie. The dome was pretty much gone. Gone. And at that time, radiation was coming in, not just from the back side of the planet, but the front side. Because now you go back down here to this graph, right? For the last three hours, if you can see that the dome, the dome is somewhat stable. If you can look, you see? It's not removed. But see, when it was removed, all of this radiation came into the, all of this radiation came into the planet. And, you know, supposedly we had an X-14 flare, a X-14 flare on the back side of the sun. And that 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 area is turning towards Earth soon within the next, what you say, 24 hours. That same action, that same section um, that released that coronal hole, that's that CME, that coronal hole. Uh, that released that CME or that sunspot that released that CME is turning towards Earth right now as we speak within a 24 hour span. So it released in an X-14 flare. You think that they not going to, this not going to pump off? Yo, you, you don't see your lights flickering in your house? Your power, I like it's going to go out? You don't see none of this stuff going on and happening around you? You don't see none of this stuff, huh? Okay. All right. All right. Paul. So, as we look at these sunspots, right? Um, these are turning. These are facing Earth right now. These are fa this is turning away from Earth, but these are facing Earth right now, right? Now here's the here's the deal, and I thank Mr. MB33 for reporting on this. I really thank him for reporting on this. But like I told you, these sunspots are getting closer to where the equator, and they're letting off. Um, they're letting off more and more. Uh, coronal mass ejections. So I want you to look at this right here. They're letting off more and more coronal mass ejection with our ionized particles. This sunspot over here, this sunspot over here, Mr. MB3 re reported on it, supposedly let off an X14 flare. Now, now X flares go from zero to nine at the strongest. They registered, registered this as a X14 flare. So I want you to understand, my people, if this is what's coming off the sun right now, uh, they have no other choice but to go ahead and create th this chaos and it's coming whether you want to face reality or not it's coming this has to take place and they already set majority of it up over here and i'm going to play a video so you can see how they set this up venezuela by the way has the lowest murder rate ever right now what does that tell you yeah all the murderers are gone they're right here yeah. So is it true that they're empty in prisons? I mean, is this, this is not, Cuba this is, all over again? This is, not, this is not a hearsay. There was a memo by DHS last year admitting that, in fact, they knew that Venezuela's government was emptying their prison and rehabilitation centers or drug centers, releasing them on purpose because they knew with instructions to make, if you were going to get out, you're going to make your way to the U.S. That is not, we're not making that up. That, that, that's true. It was, it was reported on and DHS 
admitted that that was happening. And in fact, it has. El Tren de Aragua is heavily present in our country now. Okay, so you're telling me that DHS has acknowledged that they're happening, we know they're coming here, we're processing them in, and have no idea where they are. Correct. How many people are we talking about? Millions. And just Venezuela alone. We're talking about in the last two or three years, we've had estimated how many people have come across the border. My estimation, the the official number, I think, is about 10 million. Yeah, it's about but, 10, 10, 11 million. Yeah, yeah, my, that's the official. But my personal opinion, I think we're about 15 to 18 million. We know they're coming. So listen to this again. We know they're coming here. We're processing them in and have no idea where they are. Correct. How many people are we talking about? Millions. And just Venezuela alone. We're talking about in the last two or three years, we've had estimated how many people have come across the border. My estimation, the the official number, I think, is about 10 million. Yeah, it's about but, 10, 10, 11 million. Yeah, yeah my, that's the official. But my personal opinion, I think we're about 15 to 18 million. Putting, we know they're Paul, now, the guy said at the end that it would be, it's about, in his estimate, it's about 15 to 18. Now, the news mainstream is reporting, and they're not really reporting on how many, but they're giving an estimate about 10 million, right? Now, I'm letting you know it's about 20 million or plus here in the United States now. Now, I want you to understand where they release these people from, and now they all here in the United States. What do you think would take place here in the United States with foreign people that cannot speak our language? They in certain communities know, notice that these people were when they got here, they were placed in certain cities for a specific reason. Just think, just understand New York, parts of Philadelphia, Chicago, down Atlanta, Texas. Just understand they were placed in certain California. These people were placed in certain places for a specific reason reason now i want you to think about this now you got some of some some of the harshest some of the harshest people that don't get it twisted we built for this shit too over here but these people have been living in some in detriment and then they they had to travel through harsh conditions and, and to get here and now all you have to do is put a battery in their back to start chaos or commit crimes here on the in, on the united states that's all you got to do and this is what's taking place right now in the united states y'all and we think this shit is really sweet a lot of us sitting here and literally think this is a joke and really don't understand that this hair is going to be worse than slavery and i'm going to do a video later on right because i'm going to speak about this war in the heavens and any neuroscience book that you pull open or look at will sit there and tell you that you have over 100 billion neurons inside of your fucking skull and the same amount of almost equals the amount of stars inside of the what you call the milky way galaxy and with the stars stars have light and light is what you say light codes information it has knowledge so my my question to all these people out here and it's really i'm laughing and making a joke but when you talk about the war in the heavens is you talk about the occipital lobe against the temporal lobe you talking about the cerebellum against the basal ganglia? You talk about the, the subcortical parts like the hypothalamus and the thalamus going against the pituitary gland and the and the um pineal gland? <laughs> because that's what it's that's the war in the heavens. Other than that, all that shit up in the sky, that's all some mystical bull crap that's going on. A lot of us really need to grow up out of cartoons. You know what I'm saying? Cartoons was a phase that we went through, but we ain't supposed to be stuck in an infant child like mine through our entire existence whereas though we're just being we're just we're, we're not thinking we are afraid to use our mind and then when we use our mind all we're doing is passing down the same spiritual bull hockey that was given to us in the in the very beginning that's all we're doing we're going from invisible god invisible jesus invisible muhammad invisible yahweh invisible most high to now spiritual wars with different uh entities or different extraterrestrial races beings and they going back and forth with each other ain't none of that shit happening outside of this room that's why this this room is sealed off and you can't get in you can come in here but you damn sure can't get the hell out once you win you win you ain't coming up out of here until until the everyone has seen judgment so you're not leaving once you come in you're stuck in until you and you're not leaving here so you it depends on so when you get in here and you decide to join the dark force then therefore you good you, you you better wait for you, your judgment is coming your way you come in here and you decide that you want to live like a quiet entity and just observe and see what's going on then you can do that but other than that once you hear it, you hear it. ain't no leaving nowhere it's war and it's going on out here that if that was the case why you think they why would they spend so much time trying to get the hell off the planet